Yo, yo, yo! What's good, baby? You know how I get in here? I get turned up. We stay turned up around here, baby. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that button for your boy. I'm going to try to do my best to get you to hit that button. But you know why I'm, why I'm turned up. You know why I stay like this. It's because I'm motivated, baby! I'm motivated. You see over to my left, I got motivational video, motivational quotes out there for y'all. Y'all that's out there grinding, y'all out there clocking in, whatever you doing, whatever you putting work in, you know what I'm saying? Go get that paycheck, baby. I, I like to see it. I like to see you do that thing. You dig what I'm saying? And looking over to my right, we got Kyrie Irving, bro. We got Kyrie Irving problems. What's going on with Kyrie? What's going on with the Mavericks? What are they doing out here? And... Is Kyrie Irving the reason why the Mavericks are having problems with winning games? Hmm. 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 Yes. The man is the problem. And I don't give a damn. Since he left LeBron, since he left him in the dust back then, when he was talking about LeBron, he's worried about stats and stuff, and left and went to Boston where he didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing in Boston anyways. He got shipped to Boston and ain't do nothing there anyways. You went there and did nothing. So since you left him, it's looking like right now it's looking like LeBron did, did his thing. It's like a Westbrook type of situation. Kyrie is like a Westbrook. Not saying their game is the same or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Kyrie is the magician. He's the he's the ball passer. You can Kyrie Kyrie can do everything but defense. God gave God gave Kyrie everything but defense. You know what I'm saying? That man is absolutely insane when it comes to the offense. Offensive play by Kyrie Irving, but it's a play he's made his entire life. The ability to score and flat out get it done on the offensive end. Irving. I'm not saying Kyrie's going to teach it, but he ain't going to take a COVID test. He got he got he got everything going for him, but playing basketball at points. He will not play basketball for your team at a point when it get, comes down to it. When he gets to Boston, he's hurt and stuff like that. Now he's blaming the team in Boston and Jason Tatum and all them boys that are that are young just coming up. You know what I'm saying? Boston is not going for that. The people in the in the front office not going for that. We drafted these players, and now you blaming them just like how you blame blame Braun. So you do not you do nothing there. You do nothing there in Boston. So you call up your boy, you hit a Draymond Green. You know what I'm saying? KD, KD, please, it's not going for me. I done left LeBron. I done been to Boston. Can you join me in Brooklyn? Please, can you join me? I can't do it by myself. So he 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 walks down Brooklyn. He walks down, he walks and gets down there to Brooklyn. We don't need a coach. Um, what else? We don't it, it's me it's me and KD. You got to either guard me or you got to guard him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, James Harden's giving us a phone call. James Harden's giving us a phone call. You know what? Let's just trade everything away and let's get James Harden. Let's get Rockets James Harden. 50 points James Harden. And the rest is history. So that James Harden gets there, he barely, he played about 10 games and he's out of there. Kevin Durant, he he plays basically by himself the whole time. Kyrie can't even stay on the, on the court. He doesn't want to get a COVID shot. He got stuff going on in the, in the media. The Jewish situation, what he going against the, going against a, a group of people. You're going to lose that battle, Kyrie. You're a basketball player, but that's, that's all it really comes down to. When we think of Kyrie Irving, we think about Kyrie Irving, a basketball player. We want to see Kyrie Irving dribbling the ball and making layups and getting buckets. Not you out here going against a group of people that you're not going to win against. We need you playing basketball. And Kevin Durant, he needed you to play basketball and you weren't there to play basketball. So that goes down. You request a trade. You got out of there. You got sent to the Mavericks. You get sent to the Mavericks. And the Mavericks, they've lost I, I'm doing this recording before they even played um, the Kings last night. And the Mavericks are thinking about sitting their superstars, which I don't know because you're only a game behind um, behind OKC. You're only a game behind them, you know what I'm saying? You can win a game and you can be right in the play-in. You had an 11 spot. I think the play-in is like, what, 10 through 6? I mean, 10, 10 through 7, the plan, the plan is like the 10th seed through the 7th seed. You can easily win a game and come back and, you know what I'm saying? Who knows? I'm not, I'm not saying you come out of the plan. I don't think the bottom seed in the play-in 
is going to make the playoffs unless it becomes like you go on the street. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a lot to go into that in the play in because it's like a March Madness. You 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 in there and you out of there. You you have one bad game and you're out of there. So with this whole Kyrie Irving Luka Doncic madness. Mark Cuban is looking like an idiot. Why would you even make that trade in this type of situation when you know you don't got any defense anyways? You don't have any type of defense on that team. You get rid of Brunson. You bring in Kyrie, who we know is an offensive player, who is not going to guard anybody on the court. And you got you got overweight Luka Doncic out there. He's not going to do nothing but get you a bucket. They're both players that's going to get you a bucket. They're both players who, who want the ball in crunch time. Kyrie Irving, he leads the league in, in fourth quarter points. So he needs his touches in the fourth quarter. Um, they lose their they last game at, um, at overtime. They lose that game. Not the Kings game, but I forget who they played before that, but they lost that game in overtime off of Kyrie trying to get a steal in the last second. Point eight. With 1.8. Dallas has a timeout. First one good. I think it was against the Hawks or something. And the Hawks beat them in overtime. And after the game, post game, Luka Doncic, she talks about Brunson. Do you miss Brunson? You guys miss Brunson. <laughs> a lot. I mean, you know, amazing guy, amazing player. You know, for sure. He says, yeah, he's not having fun and all that. Well, God damn it, Luka Doncic, before y'all started losing, you was all over Kyrie anyways, buddy. You Did Mark Cuban not talk to you about this situation? I mean, you're the superstar. You're the, you're the corner piece of the Dallas Mavericks. You know what I'm saying? So you're telling me Mark Cuban didn't come up to you and, and ask you, hey, bro, I'm thinking about bringing in Kyrie. Do you think this is a good situation for you? I know you've been complaining about how you've been dropping all these points and you don't got no second superstar to help you out. Oh yeah, um, Mark, you know what I'm saying? Make the deal. I like Kyrie. Kyrie's a good player. So don't put this all on Kyrie. This is somewhat, this is, the most of the percentage is on Mark Cuban. We're not going to cut that out. Mark Cuban is, we're going to blame Mark Cuban on that. Second blame. Second blame. I'm going to put second blame on Kyrie Irving. Because for some reason, wherever you go, it just brings the loss in you. It just brings you not being a winning franchise. You know what I'm saying? When you think of Kyrie Irving, you think about him not bringing basketball with him. He's bringing a mess with him at this time. And the last one is Luka Doncic. You're the superstar. You say what goes around here. You don't... Kyrie Irving gets the touches, but he's the second to you. You're the superstar. Go out there and get a bucket. Go out there and be a clutch and clutch time. You know what I'm saying? He had a he had a chance against the Hawks to hit the buzzer beater. He missed it. Difficult shot, you know. But Luka Doncic is a difficult player. When you're a superstar, you need to make difficult shots. Get your team a win. You gotta will your team to a win. Let Kyrie play off you, not Kyrie doing everything for the ball for the ball club. And then now we blaming Kyrie because he's not doing enough for the ball club. So at the end of this season, Kyrie becomes a free agent. I don't see him getting signed back to the Mavericks. I see him cutting his losses and saying, bro, sorry, LeBron, I, I, I fucked up. LeBron, I messed up, bro. I know all them years without you, it didn't mess me up. I was young. I didn't mean to say all that about you. Bro, let me come back and join the L.A. Let me, let me prove it to y'all I can still be the Kyrie in Cleveland and try to get a chip here in L.A. with the man I got a chip with before in Cleveland in 2016. You dig what I'm saying? We seen the 3-1 comeback. Like I said, Cleveland, this is for you. Cleveland, this is for you. Oh. Y'all know it. Y'all see the king. And y'all see what the Lakers are doing. And you know we got, we got content coming out on the Lakers. But we're going to hold back and talk about Kyrie right now. And Kyrie is going to do that at the end of the season. 
as in Mark Cuban, he has to get a deal done. You didn't already bring the Kyrie in. I feel like you try to do something when free agency comes, bring some defense to that team, build around the two superstars, and come back to it next season. Let's be real. Do we have Dallas winning the finals even if they stayed the 50? The thing is, in February, they were like 100% chance to make the playoffs, and now they in the 11th seed after Kyrie joined. Like I said, it's just the black cat running behind the man, bro. I don't know what it is. Y'all tell me. It's just the black cat. He has a curse on him or something. Because wherever Kyrie is going, a mess happens. And he gets shipped out. And he gets shipped out. He goes to Brooklyn. He messes that up. He messes up in Cleveland. He messes up in Boston. I won't say he messes up in Cleveland all the way because, you know, they got a chip. So, Cleveland, complete. Boston, horrible. Brooklyn, even more horrible, terrible, pathetic. That goes down to the worst free agency. You know what I'm saying? They got two max contracts with James Harden. That goes down in the worst buildup of a team ever. It didn't last but two to three years. And most of the time, they didn't even play together. The Mavericks, they get their last three games at home. Last two games after this Kings game. They get the last... They last two games at home. They need stuff to happen. They need people to lose or win. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they 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 try to they try to break it down, get some dubs, maybe make it into the play in and make some noise. But it, it looks like to me y'all are not even making the play in. Just call it a quits. Y'all talking about sitting your superstars anyways. Rest up for the offseason, Mavericks. Sorry to break it to you. Thank you for watching the Lace of Sports Talk Show. If you want to stay tuned in to the latest sports hype, hit that subscribe button or watch my latest videos. Thank you, baby. Let's go.